over five. Like about a corner. I'm going to turn just like this. So I'm inside the farm looking out. And if you stay there, I can't see you just yet. Yeah, actually, take one more step to your left. <laughs> I can see you poking out still. Hang on, I'll turn it this way a little bit more. There we go. Right there. Perfect. Three, two, one. G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hobbit's Rounds. Today we are joined by LeBambi. Hello everyone. That's your cue, you're supposed to jump out from behind the thing. No. Oh, well, we see you anyway now. We see you. Um, and today we're here with the project I've been working on off camera for quite some time now. Uh, Trident Farm. It's currently rather unattractive, but um, uh, I'm, I plan to spruce it up a bit more. Um, thank you. And one, one back for you. Um, <laughs> I've been working on it. It's just about ready, actually. We thought we'd have a look at it. You can see the kelp's actually sitting in there, making sure that's all source blocks. We're going to jump off the edge and have a look. We might just sleep first. Um, oh, the bed's at the bottom, so we're just going to jump off the edge. There we go. Oh, no, not the boats. Oh, jeez. I almost did the same My thing bed. that I did to kill Red, Red Bull Paul. My bed. My bed. <laughs> My bed. <laughs> Yeah. Ow. Um, so we, <laughs> while we're sinking, we might have a look at the bottom. Cause, oh, here, here's a drown. Um, Red Bull Paul has actually set up a villager breeder, and he actually brought a villager all the way over to my base. And then I put him in a boat, and I rode him out here. This place is uh, pretty much due... Oh, I forgot I'm not wearing the helmet. <laughs> oh, jeez, that took some health. Uh, I'm not wearing my uh, turtle helmet at the moment. Um, so we've got a villager that's down the bottom here. Oh, thank you, Dolphin. All right, he's in there, and the idea is that the drowned will be attracted to him. Why can't I get in the bubbles? There we go. Um, and then they're going to hit these bubbles and go straight up. Now, I'm not removing these blocks just yet, because if I do... You shoot me. Or was that something else? No, I was just putting down torch briefly. Oh, right, it was tripping me out there. Um... The drowns will come, hit the bubbles, and go straight up. So we need to go back up to the top for now, or at least up to the surface. Um, I'm ready to remove the blocks in here. Um, I have a little way to get in here. Now I'm going to use a uh, vein miner. I'm going to vein mine the stone bricks, and this should break all the cup. This is going to cause a fair bit of lag for a moment, so you're going to feel this in a moment. Let me. Oh god, that was just breaking one. All right, three, two, one. Bring on the lag. <laughs> and I'm also drowning, so that's also, you know, bonus. Uh, so that was a, a serious bit of lag there. But now, that should be all source blocks, except for the row where the uh, stone bricks were. So what I sort of need to do is come in here, and, uh, and here I think these ones are not source Oops, I just put that down or up like that and I think I need to go around like that I'm not 100% sure but um, when I made the kelp farm I had problems where the blocks where you have the things are not actually source blocks so I sort of need to be very careful and go around and do this second last one so this is exciting viewing which is me placing water buckets um, is it there or above oh well we'll find out in a sec so let's uh, refresh our oxygen our food go down now hopefully also I don't get stuck in the bobble columns and get trapped inside although I haven't put the glass in yet these are just some bone blocks that I had well that's another question do I need to actually do the same water bucket thing here. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, I just caught myself. I need some bubbles. Hang on, come on. We can do this. I can manage this. I really shouldn't have uh, left my helmet at home. I changed it over because we did have ideas for maybe doing dragon fight today, but we're going to wait until we can get some more people online to do that. Can you see bubbles on the inside, Levambi, up at the top? Um. I don't know what I... Uh, there we go. I was stuck for a minute. Oh, wait, I am stuck. 
We're in the boat? Nope. Uh, inside the, the tower? Yes. <laughs> so the bubbles did work, perhaps? Yeah, I went to the top. Uh, but the bubbles aren't coming all the way to the top, so I'm thinking I might need to actually yeah. fill in the water at the bottom, too. Well, if you come back down again... I can't. <laughs> why not? Oh, oh, I'm stuck in a wall. I don't think the bubble columns are coming up from the inside, though. You should be able to just sink down again, can't you? Uh, nope. Not quite. Oh, did you fall over the edge? No. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so this is now oh. turned into a Bambi farm instead of a drowned farm. Hang on, I'll come up, let you out. I'll pause the video here and I'll uh, fix up the water sources at the bottom as well. We are back and we're actually on uh, online with uh, Paramorph uh, six, uh, 46. I always get your username wrong. How are you doing, Paramorph? I'm doing good. Yeah. I'm doing good. A uh, little update on the Trident farm. Well, actually, my Trident at home, but um, I have not actually had very many um, drowned spawn. It's a bit of a disappointment. Uh, I'm not going to give up on it just yet, but uh, it's something I need to come back and revisit. Um, for now, though, we're going to visit a project that Paramore's been working on. Yay! Coming through the portal. And um, we've, we're doing some exploring, and we've, we're looking for polar bears, I think it was. And I um, yeah. found this pretty awesome No, I, I, I was looking for the, um, for the coral, and ah. I found the polar bear. Coral! And um, we found this nice glacier over here, which we should be able to get some... That's normal ice. That's packed ice. There should be some blue ice I there found somewhere. the blue ice here. Nice. Oh, there's some there. Super yeah. rare, and I don't have my uh, silk touch pick on me because it needs repairing, and I was hoping to get mending before I did that. Now, that's okay. We're gonna try and not look and do a big reveal here. Paramore's been working on a special project, and we're gonna look up. Da, 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 da. Before we do that, though, um, so we found this lovely little shipwreck that was sort of partially submerged, or well, not submerged, uh, grounded. In it was embedded in the wall. Yeah, but it, we dug it out, and we realized it was actually an entire. Um, Boat, like it's a full one, so that was kind of cool. And I think you've redone the planks, done all, the, redone all the wood. Yeah, yeah. I I changed all of the uh, the well, most of the jungle wood over to to birch. Mm -hmm. Um, except yes. for the part underneath because I don't have respiration, so that's been a bit <laughs> difficult. Yeah, fair enough. All right, so now the big reveal. We've been working on a project. I haven't actually seen it since last year working on it. So da 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 da. da, da. Whoa, that's cool. Oh it's, yeah, it's a nice lighthouse. It's gone big. And you, you were asking me to come and see what I think about the size, and I think it yeah. actually looks pretty good. I reckon maybe if you put the actual lighthouse, the light part on top of that, you'd have it'd be yeah, it'd be just right. I, I, I need to decide what to make the uh, the actual like lighthouse part out of. Mm. Let's have a closer look. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> good idea. Another portal there, obviously. Uh, yep, you said you had a few sheep. That's definitely... Whoops. A few, and you've got a few donkeys in the chest. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I know. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Oh, gee, hang on. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Um, this is, this is where the sheep were. Okay. This is the sheep. Okay. This particular one, this, this singular one here, he, she is now free. Bye. Um, that's okay. Wow, okay, yeah. I need a lot of wool for this project. Yeah, I can I can imagine. And I believe you've also found out what vein miner can do with wool and shears. Yeah <laughs> that's been that's been fun. Uh, you can also do that with um leaves as well. Oh you can vein cool. mine leaves with shears. I'm still trying to find a decent data pack that does um leaf decay and I'll, I'll let you know when that happens. Uh yeah, I quite like Thank this. You. I think um, maybe instead of the wood, like look at some real lighthouses, maybe um, either simple stone bricks or concrete, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I was having a look at like ideas online about what to do, and it seems like a lot of them are made out of uh, just plain stone. Mm. So I think maybe having stone as the, the bit, mm -hmm. the circular bit on top, yep. the, the light. The housing for the light, the light housing. Yeah. So you could also 
I think I've seen actual like redstone for like making like you have a four-sided um, set of redstone lamps and you have each one go each sort of group go on and then goes off and then the next one goes on the same way that a lighthouse oh kind yeah of so it goes like a mm. in a circle it's just I a might just TV. have yeah yeah I might just have uh, Ooh, a bit busy. of glowstone in the middle yeah fair enough because um, you know if maybe if it actually shone a beam out that would look quite cool but obviously that's not how the lamps work yeah if unfortunately only, if only you had have had this completed before the ship crashed also the ship did crash backwards which is also kind of impressive um yeah like the way that you would imagine a ship would crash i'm very tempted to push you off just fyi you would be wouldn't you i, have I would f fairly good feather falling but um i'm not quite sure if it's quite that good show show them uh show them the grave mod oh, well, we, we have good. added the gravestone uh data pack um Ooh, it's you don't want to sleep somewhere nearby, though. <laughs> well, you know, we, we've made a fairly good nether connection, but yeah, I would be back at my base. Uh, yeah. But yeah. We, uh, we'll definitely try out the gravestone mod at some point. I'm sure that's going to be inevitable. Um, we're actually going to head back to my base now, and we're going to have a go at moving some uh, villages from a nearby village uh, over to my base. And I think Paramorph's offered to uh, lend a paw. Oops. I have. Oh, God. No, you they're need, freed. You need a separate... Bye, buddy. Free range ones. You need a separate uh, entrance and exit for uh, non-sheep. Ah, oh, no. I'll, I'll just let them free eventually. It's a, it's a really nice area here, too, with the, the mountain over it there. It is. I, haven't, I can't quite see what's over there. Like, I haven't loaded over there yet before, so I can't quite see what's there's over there. A, there's a, um, <clears throat> a village over that way. Mm -hmm. Not not too far away, and then over that way there's another village. Oh, nice! Well, I wonder if any yeah. of them are the ones that I found. Probably not, because my my portal is actually uh, really close. So I think it's not that. I one. think. Yeah, there's another player at the uh, the one in the desert though. So. Mm -hmm. it could no, there's be definitely that... been people out here. Well, I know I know some people have just found villages and then just boarded them up just out of you know common courtesy to if other people want mm. them. So there might not be actually someone living there unless you found red. Paul space, in which case he is actually living at a village. Uh, um, it had a chest there, but it didn't look like any of the village had been boarded up. They're all free Roman. You know what you can do, actually, is um, if you have just a stick in your hand and you right-click, I don't have one to demonstrate, if you right-click on a block with a stick, it will tell you if anyone's claimed it and the last time they were online. Mm. That's pretty handy. Oh, I didn't realise it showed you the last time they were online. I thought yeah. it only showed that they'd... X number of days ago. Columbate. So if I actually take one block of wood here, take this and turn it into planks and then into a stick, and I right-click this on the ground here, apart from putting down a torch as well, it says the block has been claimed by Paramorph, um, 22 by 56, I'm guessing that's how big the area you claimed here is, last logged yeah. in zero days ago, which is, you know, current. Current. Mm -hmm. You're trapped with me, buddy. All right. So I'm going to head back into the nether, and when you're ready, if you want to pop over to... Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Whoa, okay, that's unexpected. Oh uh, no. Don't, don't go through. Did, have you made a friend? Uh, uh, darkness is my new friend. I am on top of the oh, nether. No. Oh no. Oh <sighs> no. Well, nuts to that. <laughs> I'm going to try logging off uh, and logging in again. I don't like my chances. The portal in the nether had space above it, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we had a problem with Red Bull Paul would log in. Uh, not log in. He'd, he'd go through a portal to the nether and he'd be on top of the portal. And if he didn't have room, it'd put him in the next available space. No, I'm definitely on top of the... On top of the uh, thing here. See, that... There should be space above it. Yeah, I think they're pretty, I'm pretty sure there is. Because um, I, uh, I I did block off the top, though, because I don't like gas. They're spooky boys. Fair enough. I did see that. That's probably a good idea. Now, um, the problem is, even if I kill myself, like the gravestone mod is not going to help me because I'm going to be on top of It's all the way up there. Thing. So I might have to do... <clears throat> pardon me. You should be able to dig down. Well, it's bedrock underneath me. Um, so I might have to oh. be... I might have to be cheaty OP admin and, and do, work something out. I'm going to pause the video here and we'll rejoin us back at my base. Is it delete? Yes, running again. 
All right, and we're back. Uh, so I just did a, a slash TP to the Paramov to get me out of there. When we arrived back here, actually, it um, put me on top of the portal here as well. Uh, luckily, in the overworld, obviously, that's not such a big hassle. So we'll just uh, see if it happens again, I guess. And if it does, then I'll have to give the server a kick in the guts and give it a restart. Uh, let me just think for a second. I've made some things here. Um, I don't know where you just run off to, but we need to go back into the nether paramuff. Oh no! Yes. Uh, you might want to come have a look outside. Okay. Okay, coming outside. Up, up this way. Up this way. This way. Okay. Do I need to be armed for this? No. Yes? Whoa! Um, <laughs> I forgot that I uh, I might have bred some. I didn't realize quite how many would happen. That's a few. You know what's pity is they um we missed shoots for more than for more of them growing up. We should set up something like a minecart uh hopper, hopper minecart underneath them or something. I don't know if they would lay eggs on the uh the minecart uh the oh, hopper well, though. That's the thing, yeah, because sand would fall. Hmm. Yeah, they, they like the sandy boys. Do it. Yeah. Hmm. Probably. Oh well, that's a problem for another time. Uh, well, we oh, we actually, might be able to move it with uh, water because they'll they'd still. Oh, maybe not. They'd still try to lay it on the sand. I guess it depends on how they determine. Hmm. Maybe we could wash them, wash the shoots off with occasional water flow or something. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if I just lost you on your on the Discord. Can you still hear me? Uh, okay, we'll reconnect in a moment. Um, I might have to do a quick server restart anyway, just to make sure, but uh, I've got this um, rail set up, which runs all the way over to that area over there, uh, which we'll go and have a look at once we get some villages. Um, I'll just do a quick restart of the server and get uh, Paramore back on Discord. They just disappeared. All right, BRB. Start the recording. <clears throat> all right, let's go. We're um, at the portal. Uh, the other place is just, it's not far. It really isn't far at all. Uh, Try to set those up so you can only get through if you're in a minecart and they shouldn't take damage, I want to say. So this is the village that I found. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of work here to get things set up as well. Um, I've laid tracks in different places. That's obviously not a valid house. Um, it is daytime. I didn't actually bring a bed, so that's also, you know, pretty smart of me. You can see the villager hanging out this door. You can see... He wants to get out. Oh, there are sunflowers. Yeah, grab yourself some. Some. Some sun? No. I didn't bring any rails with me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, should I grab some flowers? Yeah, you should. That was what I was alluding <gasps> to. Oh, there are horses too. Nice. We should do some stuff with horses too. Uh, what's interesting, if you get the skeleton horses, they now sink in water, but you get they, they don't kick you off. So you can ride oh. an undead horse underwater. As long as you've got uh, respiration, I'm assuming. Or conduit, or water breathing potion, or yeah. You know, Anything that allows you of. to inhale the water. Yes. All right. So I'm going to start down here because I think we're some librarians down here. Let's have a little thinky about this. So if I, I need I need a, uh, a rail to put the cart down on, and then once they're in the cart, I can sort of shove them around. I'm pretty sure. So let's actually just chop this door off. What are you? You're a pre. I do need some just random villages as well. So let's push you outside for a moment. And then, as soon as he steps down. Oh, uh, you've got some friends in here. Oh, and good. it looks like a butcher a oh, and. Yes. They are the most something valuable. Something else? Any... Yes, got you. Any uh, brown coat, very important. Um, okay, come this way. And now I'm just going to sort of dig out here a little bit. And push you onto this rail and then get in front of you. No, 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 no. Yep, yep. good, good. And fortunately, thank the maker that um, villagers no longer push minecarts on their own. Did he just did he zip around there? He's good. He is a okay. Oh, they're escaping. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, no. This is actually. Pack a voice, they're out. This is actually perfect. Um, get, uh, come here, come here. No, no, come back, come back. If you get close enough to them, they think you're gonna. Where did you just go? 
Ah, hello. Um, they think you're going to trade with them. Actually, would you have anything? Good. And they scamper towards you. Well, no, they, they sort of stand still while you're trying to, while they think you're trying to trade with them. So if you keep really close to them, they usually don't start scampering too much. So you should, you should have just pushed them, stay really close, get them on the rails like this, put the minecart at their feet. At their, Unfortunately, I am very good at scampering. Yes. Hey, do you have any bones on you? Uh, no. Sorry. I found a Bork boy. I have like 10,000 at home. I know, but I found two Bork boys. Nice. Didn't you? No, I was actually, Red Bull Paul has, has an army of them. It's quite funny. Oh, I imagine he would. Um, oh, hello. Yep. He looks like the right one. He is definitely the right kind that I want, the librarian. What I really need is just a few to get the, um, the village breeder working, particularly one of those brown coats. Come on. How'd you go? Uh, he is a librarian though, and he could potentially have, you know, something like um, mending when unlocked, or some one of the other new ones like Riptide or things like that. Come on, hard to see. Do you need an armor? Uh, yeah, probably. Why not? No, yeah, there's one in here. What is he not even like budging? It's because there's a door in the way. Is thank you. Don't go away. Go on the tracks. Can you? Little Can you go, little buddy. There we go. Perfect. Now put the minecart down. I'm surprised. Come back. Come back. Come back. I hope that was understandable. Um, okay, we'll grab this guy and then we'll head into the nether, I think. Why? Go on. Where'd you go, little buddy? Right on the track. There we go. There you go, buddy. Zoom. How many cars? I've got a few cars left. I'm going to. I think that'll be enough to get us started. Yep, keep giving him little sh shoves. And as soon as he hits that rail, he'll be off. Bye! Nice. So now what we do is we very carefully let ourselves into the portal room. Oh, there might be too many in there now. They're actually bouncing nope, around. No, they're good. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I slapped some beds in here in case we need them. Oh, thank you. Alright, so come in here. Now, didn't we have, didn't I have three in here? Yeah, the other one's gone f sort of through the portal. Oh, he's actually like hanging out the other end? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. So what we do now is we break the minecart and they should go bloop. And then we push him in. You go, little buddy. And then we break the cart again. And he goes bloop. And then I get behind this guy. <coughs> Bless you. Bless me. And push you in. And then once again, go bloop. Oh. Wait, excuse me. Here we go. And you guys can actually just stay there for now. We'll be back for you later. And then we go through next. Do you um, want to go through first and I'll uh, make sure none of them scamper on back? Sure. I think they have this thing where they have a, like a cooldown so they, they can't do that. Yeah, I think every every mob has a cooldown. Yeah. Well, two of them are kind of stuck in the portal so I sort of need them to, to wise up. But if you want to come through you should be right. Scamper Get this guy on the tracks, and then I'm put down a minecart. Yep, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna break this and put it back. Be back in just a moment. I'll make sure he has like doesn't hit a zombie pigman or something. I've set it up so that they they can't um, backtrack too much by having the rails fall. Okay, so he's over there. Ah. So they can't scamper away. Well, often they'll, they'll sort of run into each other and bounce back. Um, well, he's definitely well and truly in the portal. I did leave a gap there, which was silly. And there's actually a gap behind the portal. Never mind. Let me just block that. We'll grab two more and then we'll get them over to the main base and show everyone the actual breeding area I've set up. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Have a little snack and sprint. The old snack and sprint. Mm -hmm. Peyton pending. Right, did they manage to get themselves out of the portal yet? Oh, you got one of them out. I appreciate that. Shove. Uh, so now we, can, now we know that the first one's fine, we can just grab the rest of the other two pretty quickly. Uh, oh, oh, well, uh, that'll do. Yep, that'll do. Off you go. So you see, when they go through the half stab, they do not take any damage there. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And that should be good. Plop. Oh, that's a trade. 
Here he goes, and away. Bye, buddy. Let's go. It'd be easy to follow them in minecarts. I was just thinking that, but um, <laughs> well, it, well, we're too late now. <laughs> I have you several, silly Billy. I have several spare in my inventory, yes. Alright, so he's bounced back because of just how many he's in there. Just stop for a second, mate. I'll turn that lever off. Also helps. And we we'll just knock this one out. And we go break. And I can't break that one. Go through the portal. He's just doing cooldown or something, is he? Break. Whoop, he went through. It's descended. Oh no, um, this one's stuck. That's fine. We can just um, break the head high block. And if you'd like to give him a shove from. Probably don't need to come in here and do it. <laughs> and then we can block us up again. Whoops. Thank you. And break that cart. I think these two guys are. Well, oh, he went through. This guy does not want to go. You know what? He can just stay there for now. Later, chump. Alright. Oh, dang it. On top of the portal again. Oh, oh no. And there's phantoms. Hello. Well, sounds like someone needs to have a nap. Yeah. <laughs> and. Oh. Did he drop anything good? I did get one phantom head, which is pretty cool. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, I got nothing the cool green eyes. There's also a, um, a data pack that I can get, from Exum once again from Exuma Void, that can um, cause giant phantoms to spawn. What phantoms? Giant. Oh. You know, I would strongly Mons. prefer not that. So definitely yes. Gotcha. Please no. All right, so how do villagers here? They are. Ah, well, I just touched the uh, thing on my microphone then. Um, so they shouldn't probably run directly over that. So far, so good. Stay away from the portal, please. All right, moment of truth. Where did you arrive? Are you are you here or are you hoping them to come through the portal still? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I shoved the other guy through. Yep, he is here. Thank you. Then come on through yourself. Um, once again, Hello. I'm going to grab Tis just I. one, I think, just first, just in case he dies horribly. We don't want them all to die, so I'm just going to do just the one, and I'm going to give you a minecart and we'll follow him. Uh, so <clears throat> pardon me, here's one for you. Um, try and push it into him. Hello, can you hear me? Have I lost you? There we go. Okay. Got him. So I push and follow. You got your minecart still? Yep. Go and I'll Goodbye. Follow. Zoom. Oh. Ah. I lost my minecart. That was quick. How did, you, where, how did you manage to do that? I think I hit shift. You did. There's an empty minecart in front of me. <laughs> There's two empty ones, but yeah, there he is. Um, okay, you made it. Good, because... I was like, I don't know if I can even send my cart back easily. So I've set this up in a, in a pretty clever way here, I think. So that's a one-way thing, so they can't go back that way. Uh, this one, it goes over here and then down. If they're coming back, they take a different route. That's for when they actually finish in the breeder. And then when they get to here, I'm going to jump out just before the end here. And once again, there's a one-way thing here. Oop, break that. And break this one. And I'm going to leave him in there just for now. Oop, and break that one. And here we are over at the uh, village breeder. Yeah, so basically we need a farmer in here. We're going to plant some crops, um, carrots or something, uh, so that, that the farmer can actually harvest them and, and then feed the other villagers to make breeding perpetual. When there's enough villagers in there, you open all these trapdoors, and then um, when their babies spawn, they'll fall out, and they'll land um, in the corner here, or sort of underground there. And there's a minecart over here. Pardon me. Um, yeah, I suppose wheat would do, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. That can grab them sort of through the wall, because that's how minecarts work, uh, to be tested. And then there's extra ones in here, or at least there will be. And when the minecart has something in it, it actually activates this detector rail. Um, 
no, well, actually, when there's someone in it, the minecart is heavier, and for some reason that means it goes further. And it will go up over here, activate the detector rail, activate this, dispense a new minecart for the next baby villager, and then the baby villagers, actually, I will demonstrate this. I'll put in a cart, and I'll hop in this one, pretend that I'm a villager. Uh, Make villager up. noises. Uh, hmm. <laughs> that was uh, shockingly good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, uh, the nasal resonance that helps be able to do that. So this time, ah. when we come back, um, the way I've got it set up here is that they won't go back to where they came. They'll actually take this little corner here that I've created. Should I cleverly. free this villager? Um, at the moment, no, we don't really need to free him. Um, I'd like to get the other remaining ones in, then we'll just free them all, and then we're sort of just done with it for now. He can actually just stay in there for now. If you just close the gate, yep. I have the area moderately well lit up. Plus, the zombies should not be able to get through these fences at all. And there's heaps of torches, so they shouldn't be able to spawn inside of it. So yeah, I think we'll just um, get the other guys in here. Yeah, the only thing we might have to worry about is baby zombies coming through this way. Well, now I'm terrified. Uh, that is true. Uh, let's get the other ones in quickly then. You can't actually hop a ride back until you get past the... Uh, the uh, I'll show you anyway. The vertical on the other side. <laughs> Because uh, oh, but I may have also found a few other minecarts yeah, in the chest there that I probably had saved up for this project. Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. <laughs> a few hundred or so. Okay. Now I know what happened to my iron supply. Now you do. Oh, look, all our dolphins. Yeah, we have quite a few more dolphins as well. Named them all Dolphin Boy. Um, I have a group of name tags named that. Wow. And the turtles come into the distance um so now when we come around <laughs> here we are much, much more likely to um get the dolphin's grace um yeah let me think here now out the mic bottom oh it actually doesn't go back down properly it's interesting well i was not expecting that hmm there we go all right so i might just break this one with a pickaxe. Excuse me, guys. Away from the portal, please. Nope. Oh. Did you just send yourself off? No. Nope. nope. Okay. Go. Just a minecart. Go. That's fine. It's because the way it's set up. <laughs> Go on, little buddy. Did you get him? Yeah. Cool. Well, that's pretty much it for now, I think. I think we might Bye. do it. Uh, uh, there we go. Um, I think we will do the outro from here. So this has um, been some success and some failures. We've had great success with the villagers. The Trident Farm has not been so successful yet. I need to do... Um... Oh, no, no, no. There goes my outro. <laughs> um, we need to do some more testing. I, I might speak to Hollywood again. He was um, helping me with, run some numbers on it. Uh, can I do this in F5 mode? The answer is no. Yep. <laughs> God, I just clicked everything. Um, might have to get Hollywood to help me work out some numbers and work out why the uh, Trident Farm did not work. Um, there's another couple of designs I wanted to try, so we might do that as well. But I'm happy, pretty happy with the progress. I've been doing a lot off camera, obviously, because I can't always record. Um, but yeah, I'm having a great time and it's fun playing with all the different people. We also have uh, Prisoner108 who's joined the server. We, we plan to do some things together soon as well. And uh, hopefully Red Bull Paul will be back again soon and we'll do some recording with him as well. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much, uh, Skeleton over there, uh, Param, for coming along and um, helping out as well. Your, your paws have been of great use to the cause of uh, the future villager trading system and iron farm too. Oh, yes. Yeah. So uh, thanks everyone for coming. And remember, if it's not dangerous, I didn't do it. See ya.